the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, but I'm excited. I got a new project I want to try out it for encouragement, for growth, and edification for all of us. Those who profess themselves to be Christians is to let's read the entire Bible. One chapter at a time for the New Testament, one chapter at a time for the Old Testament. Use the New Testament in the morning and at uh, nighttime, use the Old Testament. And incorporate it as part of your prayer, meaning it just becomes a routine thing with your prayer life. So what I'm going to do is by being an example is actually go ahead and do that as well. Use it on YouTube. I recommend you do uh, subscribe so you can be notified when the chapter that you need to read comes up and you can go and keep up with it. Subscribe to the channel. You go to the channel and catch up with the ones that you may have missed. But let's, let's get it one day at a time, you know. And what I like to do is I'm excited. I think it's lovely because... We really do need to read the Bible for ourselves. Everybody that. And I encourage many of you to do that. The reason I'm doing this is because, like I said, here's the title, How to Read the Entire Bible. Read it one day at a time with your morning and prayer and use an audio book to help you read and pronounce some of those words. Especially when you get into the Old Testament, I'm telling you something else. But also look at this right here. I put down the survey that was done. It was called how much, it's called Life Wave Research Did It. How much of Bible have you personally read? And you can see 10% none, 13% only a few sentences, 30% several passages or stories, 50% at least half of it, 12% almost all of it, 11% uh, all of it, and 9% all of it more than once. And the reason I don't want you just to read the Bible, I want you to give it, meditate on it, and get that in your heart and your spirit and get revelation that God gives you. So that's why the intent is for you to read these scriptures because you guarantee you, you will grow in the things of God. And then you'll have to depend on other people to tell you something. And then when you go to church, sir, when the man said, Let's turn to such and such chapter. You can sit there and say, I did that. <laughs> I read that chapter. And, and then you get some more comments on that. So that you start to understand what the man is trying to teach. But you keep it in content of those scriptures that they come in. Amen. Hey, I, I think you'll love it. I think I know you'll love it. I know you'll enjoy it because we got to change that stat that we just read. All right. So get ready. Go to the chapter that's up for the day. And don't forget to subscribe, and I guarantee you, we've been able to knock out the New Testament, uh, I think in about seven months. Listen, it's worth it so you can get to know your Bible and know who you are. Because what the scripture says who you are is more important than what people say that you are. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you and I'll see you. Bye-bye. God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void. Darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day. The darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. And let it divide the waters from the waters. Thus God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. So the evening and the morning 
with a second day. Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together in one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Let the earth bring forth grass, the earth that yields seed, and the fruit tree that yields fruit according to its kind, whose seed is in itself on the earth. And it was so. Then brought forth grass, the earth that yields seed according to its kind, and the tree that yields fruit, whose seed is in itself according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. So the evening and the morning were the third day. Let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and seasons, and for days and years, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens, to give light on the earth. And it was so. God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made stars also. God set them in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth, and to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. So the evening and the morning were the fourth of day. Let the waters abound with an abundance of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth, across the face of the firmament of the heavens. So God created great sea creatures, and every living thing that moves, in which the waters abounded, according to their kind. Every rebuild according to its kind. And God saw that it was good, and God blessed them. Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. So the evening and the morning were the fifth day. Let the earth bring forth the living creature according to its kind, cattle and creeping thing and beast of the earth, each according to its kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth according to its kind, cattle according to its kind, and everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them. Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. See. I have given you every herb that yields seed, which is on the face of all the earth, and every tree whose fruit yields seed. To you it shall be for food. Also, to every beast of the earth, to every bird of the air, 
and to everything that creeps on the earth in which there is life, I have given every green herb for food. And it was so. Then God saw everything that he had made, and indeed, it was very good. So the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Amen. Look at this right here. This is the Lord's Prayer. This is what Christ taught his disciples, which means that this is something that was for all believers to use. It's just a matter, you don't have to use this verbatim, but it's just something you want to do. You see in Matthew chapter 6, verse 9, after this man of death will pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, which is this word, it's what we're reading, will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day, meaning the daily prayer. That's why I encourage you to read the Bible daily as well as pray daily. Uh, our daily bread, and the daily bread, once again, is the Word of God. I mean, you're talking about local bread, we're talking about the Word of God. And forgive us our debts, we give our debt to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory for every man. For if you give men their trespasses, you have Father also forgive you. This is a reminder of Christ's intent. It is important for you to forgive others, for your Father in heaven will forgive you. But if you give men not their trespasses, neither will your Father give your trespasses. So you want to remind yourself daily to forgive those who have offended you. Amen? And just remember 1 Timothy 2, 4, who will have all men to be saved and come to unto the knowledge of the truth. Once again, the knowledge of the truth is the word of God. You don't want it. It, it is no other truth given if you don't have the word of God with you. That's why you want to read it daily. That's why I encourage you to do this, to read the entire Bible over and over again. Romans 14, 12 says, and so then every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. And God is going to hold you accountable for understanding his word. He's not going to sit there and say, well, your pastor didn't tell you I got it. No. He's going to sit there and say, I told you to study. I told you to read the word of God. Amen? So that's what we do that. So, but the main thing is we can do this. We can read the Bible, the entire Bible, especially the entire New Testament, uh, one day at a time, one chapter at a time. And I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget, you, I do recommend pray daily too, just like Christ taught us to pray. Pray daily and pray his will, pray his word. That's what, and therefore, when you ask for things, you should line up with his word. Amen. And he wants you to love one another. God bless. I'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe. If you subscribe, every time we bring a chapter out, you'll be notified. Then you go ahead and read that, do that reading for yourself. Amen? All right, God bless you. I'll see you when I see you. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.